Following the implementation of the new digital system in the laws and regulations governing transportation and road safety, the Ministry of Works and Transportation has proposed strict requirements on new motorbikes and cars with tracking number plates, which will be expensive for the general public and traders. To prevent the security in the nation, the business community urges that there is need for a widespread sensitization and education about the new technology application that aims to follow people and identify their movement through the cameras. In a press conference with journalists, Attorney Mike Ontambi encouraged the Ministry of Works and Transport to take into account the impact assessment study based on regulatory best practices that had been carried out previously before the project's implementation. The money that the government is asking the Ugandans to pay is going to come from the Ugandans themselves. These are taxpayers who are going to have to pay 714,300 Ugandan shillings for a new number plate. Government is asking for that money from anyone who is purchasing a new car or anyone who is purchasing uh, the registration plate for the very first time. Government is asking for that money from both drivers of cars and riders of motorcycles. This is unfair a cost, most especially when you contrast it or when you compare it with the money that is going to be paid by people who currently have cars and are just bringing them back to replace that, uh, the number plate they have for a new number plate. Additionally, Marvin Ayevali published the secretary from Associated Motor Dealers appeals to government to subsidize the cost to enable traders to do business without more risks. This number plate is going to cost 713,400 shillings per number plate. Now, currently, today, if I'm to buy a number plate, it costs me 137,000 shillings. This is about 563,000 shillings difference. I mean, wh what is so special about this digital number plate? If for the second technology at first importation, you are charging me uh, 713,000, and for the same technology, thereafter on a motorcycle, you're charging me 50,000 shillings, does this mean that the cost of the product is actually 50,000 shillings? So we've asked for a breakdown of the, uh, the 713,400 shillings, which we have not yet got. So we are appealing to government that the initiative is good, but subsidize the cost. Bring it within the reach of Ugandans. You cannot have a five-fold spike in, a, in, a, in, 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 in just uh, a financial year change, uh, 1st July. According to Chairperson of Kampala City Traders Association, Thaddeus Nagenderik requested government to reverse our policies and, com and compare it with our neighboring country of Kenya and instead allow traders to do business. When we made compulsion with our neighbors here in Kenya, you find that they are charging around 40,000 for border borders and then for cars 80, the same system. So we think that maybe the supplier of the technology is not fair uh, secondly, we have our comrades from Chiseka who are dealing in these gadgets, like the tracking devices. So they're going to be out of business. We cannot compete with the government. So they need more time to make sure the current stock is sold out so that they can embrace the government one. And even they can go into partnership with the government. So we think that there are more engagements which are needed to make sure that the exercise becomes a success. And rushing it raises so many questions. Kampala City Traders Association petitioned the government for rushing with this new technology without having more engagements with sector players, which they say will affect the businessmen in competing with the government. Andrew Barije, Samo Chirimunda, Smart24 Business Today.